Hello everyone. I want to check this tank for eggs. This tank has got a pair of blue Galaris in it. And the tank is in good shape except it's starting to pick up a cyanobacteria. You can smell it. I, I'm just convinced that it's coming out of my water. Because I, I've gone years without a problem with it. And now all of a sudden it's showing up. And it's usually in the tanks I've been doing water changes in. It's this disgusting blue-green stuff here. So I'm going to set the take the filter out, set it aside. And the ever-present duckweed. I remember about 30 years ago seeing duckweed going, wow, what a cool plant. Sure wish I could get some of that stuff. And I actually bought something out of a tank at a pet shop that had duckweed in it because I wanted the duckweed more than I wanted, you know, the fish that was in it. Look at that. Disgusting bacteria. I hate that stuff. And here I am about 30 years later wishing I could get rid of the duckweed. So, let's put that there. Then before the water gets all torn up, we're going to get some water for the, the fish that are in here. And then we'll start pulling the plants out. Nubis is in pretty good shape. Not too bad. Gets this stuff growing on it, but it peels right off. And we got a bunch of mops in here. I'm going to pull the mops out. Blue Galaris eggs, you rarely will find any in a mop. They're not adhesive, so they'll fall through to the bottom. Basically, the mop is to get, well, of course, make a liar out of me. There's one. Get us a little container here. down a little bit. Get a little container here. Usually the eggs fall through so that's got to be a pretty fresh egg. It hasn't really had time to fall through yet. But it's always a good sign when you find an egg. So. Pull the next mop out. I always have to shake it, make sure there's no fish or anything in it. And of course, there's another egg. It's a totally uh, looks like a brand new egg there, also. So. Ah, third one. Too much water in here. I will probably dry these eggs on peat and store them, but I usually like to collect them where possible, put them in water so I can see what's what kind of condition they're in. Sometimes if I have a bunch of brand new ones and a bunch that have been in there a while and they look like they might want to hatch. I'll sort them. So far I only have clear ones here, new ones. I will put that there. And it's time to go after the fish. There's the male. And now Whopper is the female. There they are. Pretty nice male. Nice big fat and sassy female. So we'll set them over. And now I'm going to go after some more duckweed because chasing the eggs, the duckweed will really mess me up.
What I use to collect the eggs is a this is a larger brine shrimp net. It's got the mesh. It'll let the water through, but it'll hold out any eggs. And as you can see in here, I got a thin layer of gravel. That's for the eggs to hide and to get some biofilm. And then I've still got that deep of water in here, so I got some room to swirl. So what I'm going to do is kind of stir up the gravel a little bit, try and get the eggs up up in the water column. And then I'm going to do figure eights. Just a couple of quick ones. Try and see what's going on in here. And now we're going to see if we can get this to show on the camera. Because we do have... There's an egg right there on the end of my finger. Uh, this is what you like to see. There's like four or five eggs. There's two more. There's probably some in that little wad of stuff. So, that's a good start. Let's go in and do another figure eight. Sometimes you can see them, sometimes you can get a touch and you can feel them. There's one. There's three, I believe. There's another one. You can get pretty good at it after a while. The egg right there. And you want to get rid of this mess. Oh, there's another one. These are all clear. So these are all fresh eggs. Then you want to like get this stuff caught down to the bottom. So you can bang it out, so you're not continually scooping up the same goobers. And then back in again. Stir it up enough to get the eggs up and moving around, but not so much that you splash of water all over the place. And if you get too active, you'll start picking up the gravel, which is a pain. When I get this tank all done, I'll take it outside and I'll put a whole bunch of bleach in it. The only sure way of getting rid of the bacteria is to bleach it out because I don't like to use any chemicals you know with the fish and the plants. So I'll bleach it out. Oh this is pretty good. Let's see if we can get this on the camera. We have right here one two three four five we have like a whole row of eggs here very nice along the end of my finger a whole row of them so that was a good set of scoopings Alright, let's show you how the tank's coming along. I scrubbed this tank out real good with a uh, nylon scrubbing pad. Uh, I took it outside, I rinsed it out to get as much of everything out as I possibly could, scrubbed it some more, filled it up right to the brim with water and put in a half cup of bleach. Then I let it sit for a half hour. Now what that does is give you a tank that's been sterilized. This thing has no more of that disgusting blue-green algae stink. Uh, there's no dirt left in it. It is ready. It's clean. It's time for it to get start over. So I'll put the date 
216 here on the on my little tracking label get it back up and it's slot on the shelf and get some water in it so that's how I clean one particularly when I want it really clean and get that blue green algae out and here's our tank back in the rack we've got the gravel in we got the mops back in we got the plants back in and here's our pair to get their temperatures correlated back up and they'll be ready to start laying eggs again now we still have the question of what to do with all the eggs that we collected in this little container there's about 25 eggs in there and they're pretty fresh now I know some people like to use core some people use jiffy pellets you know there's a lot of things you can use to dry the eggs I like to use this miracle Grow sphagnum peat moss and I'll show you why as you can see it's very finely groomed powdered down but not so small as to be disgusting uh, it's very very soft no sticks nice looking stuff miracle Grow sphagnum peat moss now into this I'm going to put the eggs now I'm going to do my best to see how much of the water here I can get rid of because I don't want all the water the idea is to dry them so I'm going to get rid of as much water as I can just got this little bit left that's holding all the eggs and what I'm going to do is plop it in all right don't see any eggs left and it's all plopped in here now I'm gonna mix them up and I got one last step okay my last step is that now this has got to get stored for for uh, you know a couple of weeks to a month or so and you got to be able to check them and a lot of people use plastic bags they work great I did for many many years now I'm just I'm, I'm coming up with things to reuse plastic and trying to get away from the the one-shot bags little Noosa yogurt to come they got a nice little top and what I can do if I can do it so it stays on the camera and I'm going to put all this stuff into this little container. Since I don't know where the eggs are, i got to make sure I pretty much get all this stuff. But that's pretty easy. Okay, now here's my, my uh, damp peat, here's my eggs, they're now safe, take the little label I made off, these are blue galeras, 214 to date, approximately 25 eggs. These will go into a, a uh, cardboard box that I store the eggs in, down on the bottom, so they stay around 70 degrees, 70, 72, whatever degrees. And they're very easy to check. You just pop the lid, poke your finger around to check, see what you need. If they're, they don't look too much ready to hatch, pop the lid back on, check them again in a week. And I can stack and do a lot of eggs in a very small space. And I'm reusing this stupid container. Man, I hate you use plastic. Do whatever it is you do and then throw it away. So. I can use one of these for a year at least, 10 12 times easily before it plasticizes out on me. So, if you like these videos, please subscribe. This is David, David Ramsey in uh, Georgia, doing the fish videos. Thank you for watching. This is David.